Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this game look a lot better. So, let's get started. Now, first thing you're going to notice is that I have a little solar array going on over here with some lights. And the time of day, the sun is right above us and you kind of see a little bit of glare. So what we're going to be doing is actually using the software called Reshade. It's a post-processing injector for games. And you could basically include a better ambient collision, real depth of field, color corrections, and a lot more settings that you could actually play around with. And all this you could just install onto your uh, space engineers to make it look better. So just remember how this looks right now. We are actually going to log off of Space Engineers and install a Reshade program. So I'm going to exit to main menu. Okay, so here's the software that I'm talking about, which is called Reshade. And I'll leave a link and everything we talk about will in the description down below. And like I said, it, it basically helps make the game look a lot better than what it was. So in the compatibility list, you could also see Space Engineers runs perfect in this. And if I do want to remove it, there is a way to remove this. You just have to remove, uh, I think, three files from the bin64 directory. And to install, we just need to download it. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and download Reshade. Save the file. And I'm going to run Reshade program. And over here, select the game. And I'm going to go down and look for Space Engineers. Oh, God, there's too many games loading. And I don't know why there's two. So I'm just looking at bin64. This one is not, so this is not the Space Engineer, this is the uh, SDK. So yeah, this one is the one we want where it says bin64. Use this as the application. I tend to just turn off all this stuff. And then hit OK. And there has the reshade settings, you don't have to do anything here. If you click on it, it's just, you know, normal stuff. Uh, but yeah, we got DirectX 3D and that's it. It's already installed. Once you close it, it's already installed. Now we do have to close out of this game and restart the game and pull it back up. So let me re restart Space Engineers. And here we go. As you can see on the top left, it actually says reshade 4.8.2. And you can press the home button and it'll actually unlock a new menu. And this is a tutorial that you could go through and kind of it'll tell you like what to do presets and stuff like that you can enable or disable certain things okay this is a weird mouse thing so i'm going to hit continue on this and finish and press home to get out of it i'm going to reload the game first all right so as you can see this is the stock default look that we would normally get with our space engineers and let me see if i can move the move my body around to kind of get the glare off that okay so uh, yeah, there's a lot of LUTs that you could actually play around with and the one I'm actually currently using is actually from Assetto Corsa because I like the way it looks. So to get into the menu, what you would have to do is hit the home button and in here you could start enabling some of the LUTs or some of the effects. Now, a lot of these you can actually just change and modify on your own settings. I'm not going to go through each detail because there's so many things you could do with it. But you see how enabling these things, nothing happens. But once I enable this, bam. A better lighting a little bit darker it's a little bit more contrasty so it's like not as bright or vibrant but it's got a better look uh, i would say as far as reflection goes and then we have this guy which will change that again and this actually makes it look pretty it's a little off but it's still pretty decent now you could play around with all these settings the intensity and everything i could turn this off and keep it red again and i still get that like look that i want so you can see like that stock or that's what comes with the system and then this gives it a little bit of a more contrasty look and I feel that this is pretty good as far as the look goes and the shadowing and the shades but mainly you, you're gonna have to play around to see what you like that's basically what I do another thing that I add is a mod which I'll leave a link down in the description below to make it so that these actually have glass and also have control panel buttons. I just like the look of these lights where you get the glass. Same thing with like these little lights, you still get the control button here. You see, I can still control it. And it gives you like a better look towards it overall. So that's another mod that I added inside just to keep and make this light look pretty good. So I'll leave that in the links down in the description below. But ultimately with the change, I think I don't think it works very well on Earth. I think in Mars and everything, it makes it look really, really good. And maybe if I adjust some of the lighting, uh, maybe I could get it to kind of like look a little bit different. 
but you can see like how the lighting goes off the panel. And if you got a ship, let's see how a ship would look in this current setting. So I'm going to go back and probably spawn a ship, which is something like this. That looks pretty good. Oh man. Imagine that's like a warship or something like that. The glass looks pretty good. The tinted windows. Let me see how this would look without the filters on. And it's very sensitive to get the mouse to that spot. So I'm kind of just playing around with it just so I could get it. There you go. Disabled. This is stock look. Enabled. It's got the best shadows. Look at that. And if I turn this on. Oh man. Look at that. That looks pretty good. I gotta say. That looks really good. And if I disable everything, that's before. And this is after. The scratches and everything looks like it comes out really well on those little uh, corner pieces. And yeah, overall, it, it looks pretty damn awesome. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, the reshade works on a lot of games. So this is not the only game it works. There are also a lot of FX packages. This is just, I'm just touching the surface. There's so many FXs that you could download to make the specific look that you want. I'm going to find more and revisit this video in the future to see if I could get the best looking space engineers going into the future. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you guys are currently not subscribed, I hope I earned your subscription today. So please hit that little subscribe button. And also thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.